Pandemics have been part of our planet's evolution for a long time. In our DNA, there are still traces of some very old aggressive invaders. These are retroviruses. They lie dormant, but they can be awakened. We don't want them to become active. We'd like to understand why they're silenced by our bodies, because this reaction would also explain similar mechanisms in our development. Half of our DNA is made up of retroviruses. What puts them into a very, very deep sleep is a protein. Professor Trono's team was able to eliminate that protein. The retroviruses then wake up and reproduce themselves. They can kill an embryo in the first five days of its life. Some of these retroviruses have been sleeping in our chromosomes for 350 million years. Many others are 50 million years old, from a time when mammals were attacked by waves of pandemics. Those who survived made a quick evolution jump and became primates, a good step for humanity. Herpes and AIDS are related to those retroviruses. If we understood how the AIDS virus lies asleep in a cell, and if we could wake it up when the immune system is still able to fight it back, we would have a way to eliminate that virus. HIV and other viruses would neither be able to sleep nor be stirred to life in our bodies anymore. <laughs>